Well, welcome to this video. This is discussing homework problems in section 8F on page 382 in the section in set theory and it deals with the three uh, set Venn diagrams. This is problem number one and I'll leave Roman numeral one for you to do and I'll demonstrate Roman numeral two for these. So our first one we're looking at is A union and then there's parentheses around this set, B union C. So let's start with this one. We want to first think of B union C and then unite that with A. When you're doing a union, it's easy enough to even shade them one at a time. If I start by shading set C, that's everything inside of C, then I know inside anything that's unioned with C, all those points will be in it. So now I'm going to add the points in B. So let's just extend the shading now to include the B points too. I'm going to make these lines a little closer together. So all the sh points are shaded inside that figure eight shape of the union of B and C. So far, this is just like a problem involving two sets. Now we're going to add the third one. We're going to union this set, this figure eight shape set with A. Well, that just adds these into it. And so now we've got the shaded part of all three. A, union B, union C. In fact, it really doesn't matter where the parentheses are on that. If I'd have started with them around A and B, that would have worked the same way. So that's the answer to the first one, is all of them shaded inside that. Now, this gets a little more complicated. Now we're going to start here. A intersect with the set B intersect C. So let's start with B intersect C. Both of these are relatively elementary examples of two sets uh, joined together. So we're going to look at B intersect C first. Where does B intersect C go on? It's goes on right in this all in shape section here. So I'm going to shade it, but I might have to erase some of it. That is the beginning set. Now I'm looking at the intersection where this one overlaps A. The intersection of where this set overlaps A. So Right in here is the only part that overlaps it. All the shade outside of it doesn't. So I'm going to erase that. Now right away you're seeing that the way I'm doing it involves erasing. And if you're going to do it in pen, you have to think a little more carefully because then you can't get rid of shading that you put in as easily. You have to think ahead. Maybe do it, use it in pencil and finalize it with a pen because the overlap here, uh, part of it had to be taken away. So there's the intersection of A with the intersection of B and C. Okay, now let's go on to the third one. In this one, we want to look at A union, C intersect B. Hmm. C intersect B rather than B intersect C. Does that make a difference? Really doesn't make much difference. B intersect C, C intersect B, they're the same thing. We start off with this almond-shaped intersection. And maybe you just want to visualize that if you're using pen. Now, instead of the intersection with A, I'm looking at the union of that with A. So this time, even if I'm using pen, I could start with that shading. And now I'm just going to add to it. I add all the elements in A to it. So it's these united with the elements in A. So I can just extend it out to cover all of set A here. And sometimes I think the shading might be easier to do in pencil, where you could you know, lay the tip down a little bit and shade it back and forth. You just want to make sure each region is covered. And so I have this oddly shaped region that's circular and then has this sort of diving board sticking out there. And if you want to cross hatch it that way, you can. Okay. So that is A united with C intersect B. That would be part of this third one here. Now let's look at this fourth one. B union C intersect A. Okay, let's change to another color so I keep from getting too redundant here, too monotonous. If I look at C intersect A, well, let's see, C intersect A is here. Okay, that's C intersect A. I want to unite that with B, so all of the ones inside B here. So, looks a lot like the last one, at least the same shape. It's a different set though, because it involves different points, but all the points inside B and this extra diving board shaped out there. Okay, that would be the answer to this one. B union C intersect A. Now let's try this next one. Okay, next one. A union, B union, C complement. Okay, so B 
is going to be the, in the union of C complement. Okay, so we start with B, all of the points in B. All right. We have kind of far apart there. Let's fill it a little bit. Okay, that's all of B. Now we add on C complement, which is everything outside of C. Everything outside of C. I'm going to run out of ink on that one. Let's change to red. Let's see. All the ones outside of C. So here's C complement in red. Okay. We have C complement union with B, so we also have this part. Shaded in too. Everything outside of C, and even that little part that's inside of C that happens to be in overlap with B. So that's the first one. That's B union C complement. Then I unite that with A. Well, I only add on what's new. What's new would be these. Okay, so now everything's in there except this one shape here. Everything's shaded but that. Okay? That's A union B union. C complement. A lot of shading on that one. Okay. Let's look at this next one. Alright. B complement intersect C. Okay. Now, just like when I did the C complement, I shaded all that stuff outside of it. So now here, I want to look at B complement. That's all of the elements outside of B, but I want to know where they intersect C. So I want the things that are outside of B and inside C. So that is going to be inside C and outside B. So that's these points in here. Outside of B, inside of C. So this kind of looks like a maybe a crescent moon shape, you know, with a piece of the moon obscured. Okay. Now I want to intersect that with A. I'm going to intersect this set with A. So I'm going to erase all the shading outside of A. I only want to know, only want the shading kept that's inside of A. That's this one little piece right here. That's my answer for that one. That's A intersect B complement intersect C. All right. One more. Let's look at that one. You get one more marker too. We want to look at on that bottom one. A union C intersect B complement. So C intersect B complement. We already know what that one looks like. Alright. That C intersect B complement. That's the same as this one. It doesn't matter what order we write them in. So it's this shape like a moon with a piece of chopped out of it, all the points that are in C but outside of B. Okay. All right. Then we take that and we union A with it. So we adding all the A you know, elements in it. So we're going to add everything inside A to it, all of these. So all the points of A are added to it. And so we end up with this very peculiar shape of A and the union of C intersect B complement. You can see there's a lot of uh, shading, a lot of erasing, a lot of imagination that has to go into it. And you're building up your three uh, set Venn diagrams from those that involve two sets. Let's take a look at one of the shades of reverse problem when we go down below. I roll down. Then what we're asked to do in this section, let me move it over a little bit so you can read the directions, use notation to name the shaded region. So once again, I'll leave the first set for you to do. We'll look at the second set. Let's do these one at a time. Here's one here. Okay, what is this set? We have to figure out a way to designate it. Well, it looks like A is pr pretty much most of what's going on here. So it's A intersected with some other sets, okay? Notice that this part is not in there. 
So what we're going to have to do is come up with a designation of this set that excludes where A overlaps C and B. Now you notice it includes the part that overlaps B, it includes the part that overlaps C, it only excludes the part where they all three are overlapped. There may be more than one way to represent this set. All right, and there's some of them that involve subtraction, but we're not going to use subtraction in ours. We're going to use intersection. So let's see. Well, these, I can think of a couple different ways to do this one. We're going to look at it as, let's look at A overlapping the complement of C, the complement of B, that would be this part, and the intersections of A and B, or C and B and C in those. So one easiest way to probably do it would be to say this is A minus the intersection of B and C. Okay? Now, we don't really usually use subtraction. What I'm going to say is that this one is the in overlap, the intersection, with the complement of this set. So basically it's A intersected with B intersect C complement. Right. The intersection of A with B intersect C complement. Now it turns out there's another way to write that. We don't really look at De Morgan's laws here, but you could have used De Morgan's laws and said that this is A intersect B complement union C complement. That's another way to look at it. All right. But let's stick with the easiest one. Let's stop with that. And if you didn't think of it with subtraction, that's okay too. What we want to look at is that A is overlapping everything outside of this almond-shaped region. Okay? Because this part doesn't isn't in A, so it doesn't get shaded anywhere. Alright, let's move on to the next one. A little bit simpler, it also has that characteristic of the set and overlapping the outside of another set. So this one is going to be B intersected and overlapping with the complement of A union C. It's all the elements inside of B but outside of A, and C, A or C. None of the A's, none of the C's, but all of them inside B. So that takes a little bit more thinking maybe to get that through, but you should see that the complement outside of this figure H circle is exactly what I have shaded in here. All right, let's move on to the next one. A very small set here, right in here. Okay, so what does that look like? It looks like part of A intersects C. Now A intersects C includes this part that we've excluded from our set. So it's going to be A intersect C intersecting B complement. All right, so I can also write it B complement intersect A intersect C. So I want the ones in A and C, but not in B. That's another way to think about it. So we have to build it up one little step at a time. Let's look at the next one. Let's erase this. Okay, it looks like a lot of stuff shaded that's in the complement. So, <clears throat> we'll probably think about it as a complementary set, and then this part included now. So what's this part? This is A intersect C. A intersect C is going to be added on to the complement of all three union together. So let's see. It is This set doesn't include and it includes part of B, part of A, and part of C. So it's not in the complement of any one of those sets. A complement is everything outside A, C complements everything outside C, and C B complements everything outside B. So these aren't in there. Now those can't be in any of the complementary sets. So we must start with maybe a complementary set and then get rid of others. Okay, let's see. It might be the complement the complement of A union C, all right? But then I'd have to take that out and add that in. That looks pretty tough. 
Let's look at it this way. Let's take the, the whole outside region that's shaded here is the complement of A union B union C complement. That's all of the outside stuff. This part is A intersects C. That's a very complicated way to look at it, but in terms of the shaded regions, that's what they are. This is the big shaded region. This is the little shaded region. And I want both of them together. Not where they overlap, they actually don't overlap, but I want to add them both together. Okay, so each problem you have to break down into parts and consider the parts one at a time. And in fact, in these problems, there's probably more than one right answer. So if you look up your answer in the back and it isn't right, let me know. You might still have the right answer. So this is three, three set Venn diagrams. Make sure you do the reading and then try your own uh, look at the homework problems assigned in the book.